Hi guys, in today's video I'm gonna show you how to download all the contents of a website automatically using HTTrack tool. It's a free tool available online. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's say I want to, let me launch a browser. So I'm gonna launch Edge. Let's say I wanted to download all the worksheets for my child. So I want to download all the third grade math worksheets on my desktop all of those are pdf documents so let's open this one as you can see it's a pdf file and i would like to download all of them so i could print them and give them to my son to practice if i sit down and do it manually it's gonna take me at least an hour there's a lot of pdfs on this website so i could use a tool to download everything automatically for me without doing any work. And the tool name is HT, HT Track. You could Google it, it's a free tool and that's the website. So if you click on it and let's go ahead and download it and install it on our machine. So click on download section and I'm going to basically install it using the exe file. So I'm gonna click on this for Windows 2000, Windows 10 and above. Since my Windows is 11, that should work. So once it has been downloaded, I could install it. This is the installation file. Click next and I'm gonna accept the agreement. Next, I'm gonna do next again, next again, next again and install. Now let's launch the tool. So it should put an icon on my desktop and that's the icon. It's on my other screen. Okay, so that's the icon. So you double click on the icon and you should see this. So let's double click on it. You should see this window. Okay, so let's go ahead. Click on next. And let's say math worksheet third grade. Oh, math worksheet for third grade. And for the category, I'm going to leave it blank. Save this on my desktop. So I'm going to select this PC and I'm going to do desktop. I would like to put it on a folder called HTTFRAC. Okay, so it will create a folder and it will put this project inside that folder. Do next. Uh, the URL I'm gonna put is the URL we just looked at, which is. Okay, so it's this main URL. Now, if you wanted to download the whole website, you would uh, go to the home page and just select the main site. So let's just get this one for the third grades. Okay, so I'm gonna do click and copy the link and go back to my tool. And I'm going to do add URL. I'm going to paste the URL just I just copied. If you're trying to download something that requires a login, you would enter user ID and password. And since this is a free website, no login required, I'm just gonna put the URL. Do okay. For set options, if you click on it and you click on the scan rules, so this will let you know which things this tool will grab. So it will grab image files, it will grab CSS files, JS files. In my case, I would like to grab PDF file. If you wanted to grab video files like MP3, you would add MP3 videos. So click on the include links and I'm gonna select file with extension and PDF. If it was document, you would do DOCX. Okay, and you do add. The tool added a PDF to the list of things it will grab. And now do okay. And now do next, do finish. So now the tool is basically grabbing everything on that um, URL we provided. And as you could see, it will take space on your machine. So this probably is gonna take a few minutes to complete. It will basically, so it will grab all those PDFs, like there's over, I don't know, a hundred of them on this website. I'm gonna pause the video until the tool completes and I'm gonna show you the final uh, result. Okay guys, after a few minutes, download has completed and let's click finish and let's do exit. Everything was downloaded to this folder. Let's open that folder and the project name was math worksheet third grade. So let's open that. It has downloaded the whole website starting from that URL we provided and everything beneath that. All my um, contents are here so I could look at all the worksheets. They should be in this folder in worksheets and third grade and every link 
was downloaded here. So if I click on this, you see all the PDFs that were downloaded. If we go to the, as you could see, there's so many content here. Now you could search all the PDFs to, and you get to see all the PDFs that were downloaded from that uh, link we provided. And there are 468 PDFs that were downloaded um, down to our machine. And let me see how big the folder was. So it was um, right click properties and it was 87 megabyte. That was how big it is. Now if the website is big and there's so much content, the space could be way bigger than this.